to my channel and thank you for joining me for another video so today we are making banana pudding why because we are bananas about banana pudding I know it was a bad joke but you see what I did there uh, yeah <laughs> fun aside we are gonna make a banana pudding recipe today I'm gonna show you how to make it from scratch so stay tuned for this video but before we get started I do want to remind everyone don't forget to subscribe to the channel Give this video a big thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified of future uploads. With that being said, let's get started. All right, everyone, buckle in because this is a step-by-step -step video today, so it is gonna be a lot longer than my usual videos. So the first thing I'm gonna do is start by heating up all of my milk. So I'm just gonna bring it to a boil and then I'm gonna immediately turn it off once it comes to a boil and set it aside. All right, let's make the base for the banana pudding. So we're basically making a pastry cream. So I'm using egg yolks, I have some sugar and cornstarch. So I'm gonna start by taking my egg yolks and my sugar and I'm gonna mix these together really well first and then I'll go ahead and add in all of my cornstarch. All right, so now we're gonna add in our cornstarch and we're gonna whisk it together really well. And then I'm gonna gradually add in about half of the hot milk. No joke, this does require a little bit of muscle. So if you do have someone to assist you, it will make it a bit easier. That way you can focus on whisking and they can help you ladle in the milk. But no worries if you don't have anyone to assist you, just take your time, but whisk really fast. Once I'm done adding in half the milk, then I place the egg yolk mixture back into the pot with the remaining milk while I continue to stir constantly. So this is gonna cook for another five minutes or so until this mixture is completely thickened. And I was not joking when I said that this mixture does require a little bit of arm power. So if you don't have any muscles, you will by the end of all of this. All right, so now I'm gonna remove the pudding from the heat and I'm gonna place it in a separate bowl. And at this point, you can go ahead and use an ice bath to cool this down. Sometimes I use an ice bath, but honestly, you can just wrap this and put it in the refrigerator if you wanted to as well. I've done both and it's perfectly fine. I'm also gonna fold in the butter here and I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla extract. Now, traditionally, if you're making a pastry cream, you would use a vanilla bean pot and that would cook with your milk. But since we're making banana pudding, I didn't feel like doing all of that today, honestly. And it's not even really necessary. So after I lightly fold in all of my vanilla extract, then I'll go ahead and cover this with some plastic wrap. And again, I will go ahead and cool it down completely. So you can use an ice bath or just cover it with your plastic wrap and stick it in the refrigerator until it's completely cooled. If you decide to use the refrigerator method to cool this down, just make sure you leave it in there for about two hours or a little bit longer if necessary. That's why most people prefer to use an ice bath because it really does cut down on the cooling time. All right, so while my pastry cream cools, I'll get started on whipping up all the whipped cream I'm using for this recipe. And I'm gonna do it together rather than doing it in batches, you can do it either way. But since I'm using whipped cream in the actual pudding and then I'm also using some on top, I figured it would be a lot easier to just whip it up all together. So I'm gonna whip all of the heavy whipping cream along with the sugar and vanilla with my electric mixer into stiff peaks form. Now, I do realize that most people don't want to make whipped cream from scratch, and I totally understand. For me personally, I love making fresh batches of whipped cream. There's nothing like it in the world to me. But if you wanted to skip this step, you could always just buy some in the store, or you could always sub it with Cool Whip. All right, folks, so now I'm just going to divide the whipped cream in half. Again, half is gonna be reserved to go on top of the banana pudding, and the other half I'm gonna mix with sweetened condensed milk. And I'm using a fat-free version. You can use whatever you want. You could also cut down on the amount of sweetened condensed milk you wanna use and just use half of this if you wanted to. 
All right, so now we carefully fold in all of that sweetened condensed milk, and then we'll add in all of that reserved pastry cream that we've been cooling in the refrigerator or that we chose to cool using an ice bath. All right, so now I'm just gonna gradually add in the pastry cream into the condensed milk and whipped cream mixture. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of spoons of the pastry cream at a time, and I'm gonna fold that into the whipped cream condensed milk mixture. Once I have all of the whipped cream and pastry cream mixed in together, then I'm gonna go ahead and chill this in the refrigerator for up to four hours. This custard holds up really well, y'all. So it's definitely make ahead. So if you wanted to just make your pudding custard and refrigerate it, you can do that. Especially if you have an event coming up in a couple of days, you can just make your base ahead of time and just pull it out once you're ready to assemble it. So once you are ready to assemble your banana pudding, go ahead and gather up all your bananas and then peel them and slice them. I don't slice my bananas before I'm ready to assemble my banana pudding, but that's just me. If you did want to slice your bananas ahead of time, just make sure you toss them in a little bit of lemon juice to prevent them from browning. All right, so now it's time for the fun stuff. So to assemble this banana pudding, go ahead and grab up your custard. You're gonna place that in the bottom of your baking dish. And then you're gonna follow that up with your cookie. So if you're using shortbread cookies or Biscoffs or Ladyfingers, you wanna layer those on top. I'm using Nella wafers just because that's just pretty standard. I'm from the South and we use Nella wafers in our vanilla pudding, I'm sorry, in our banana pudding all the time. So I'm gonna be using Nella wafers. And then on top of the vanilla wafers, I'm gonna go ahead and add a slice of banana on each and then I'm going to just repeat this on each layer. And so I do have like a little secret <laughs> that I use when I make my banana pudding and that is to sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon. I'm telling you if you have never tried to use a little bit of cinnamon in your banana pudding you might want to try to do that. I mean I, I think I just did something here you might like this so. But let me know in the comments what you think but I really like the warmth that the cinnamon adds to the banana pudding. Uh, it is just really good y'all. So now I'm just going to finish up the rest of the remaining layers here and then I'm going to go ahead and grab up the rest of my whipped cream that I reserved. I put it in the refrigerator until I was ready to use it and then we'll go ahead and add that on top of the banana pudding to finish it off. And I must confess to y'all, I was not a banana pudding fan growing up, but let me tell you something, a nice banana pudding from scratch, there is nothing like it. It is just unmatched in flavor, period. Like I really like a freshly made homemade banana pudding. I don't like to really use a lot of boxes anyway. I do sometimes, right? If I'm short on time, but I'm telling you, homemade banana pudding is like the only way I'll eat mine. And y'all don't be afraid to use everything. I use every bit of everything. I scrape my bowls. I use every bit of my batter and every bit of my whipped cream. And now to finish up this banana pudding, I'm just gonna top it with some crushed vanilla wafer crackers. And then I'm also gonna sprinkle, sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon, not a whole lot. We're not gonna do a lot, just a little bit. And then this is gonna go in the refrigerator until it is cold and ready to serve y'all. Let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments. Thank y'all so much for joining me for another video and I will see you next time. Bye.